Coming in with a bomb! <laughs>Is it going, everybody? Dregast here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besieged Creation. So it's been a couple weeks since I've said that. That means we're going to have some really good creations today. I have dabbed into a little bit of modding here so I can load multiple creations at once because people have taken a liking to building cities in this game. So we have Baron City here, you can't really see much of it yet, but it is a huge 5,000 block city that is made for a Baron Expanse. And I also loaded in a TS-11 Spark Iskra, it is a Polish training and a fighter jet. And yeah, we're just gonna fly around and uh, have some fun, hopefully don't crash into too many buildings here. So here we go, I have lifted off, now it is gonna be a bit slow, I'm running at about 75% right now. Obviously, this is a very big creation, so I'm actually gonna get out to the outskirts right now, get my grips on flying this thing and then we're gonna actually go into the city okay but here it is we're going in oh it is a little leggy as you can see oh this is dangerous this is this is really dangerous this is okay well that's what i should have expected all right trying this again we're going a bit slower this time obviously uh something of this scale you can't do at full speed it's just damn near impossible with any computer really but this is seriously impressive like i like seeing large scale creations even if it's just a simple city because it's good for especially flying if you do want oh god oh fuck <laughs> Why can't I fly in this game? Why am I so damn bad at it? All right, I'm gonna give it one more try here, and I know I can do it. All right, once again, I just want to see this city once. I just want to do one simple flyby. I expected to be able to do stunts and whatnot, but clearly I am just not skilled enough for that. But yeah, this is Baron City, ladies and gentlemen. It is the biggest creation I have ever tried to load. Uh, a little over 5,000 blocks, I believe. And it's just a bunch of buildings. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh! <laughs> I really can't fly things, man. Okay, so here we are at the generic sandbox map. No cities, unfortunately, this time, but it should be a little bit more stable for me this time, and uh, I should actually be able to fly this thing a little bit. Still a little leg, as you can see, but man, is this thing fast when it's at 100%. It does have things like afterburners on it and whatnot that make it even more agile, so this is supposed to be one of the most agile planes in the game, and I can definitely see it. It works absolutely great. Now this thing also does have some mod support, you guys probably already saw the smoke trails that come with it. A pretty cool little feature actually, I do like the look of it, looks absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we can get around here, oh shit, and of course I just nipped that ground, but it is still lagging quite a bit unfortunately. Not really sure why, this isn't a very big creation. Alright, well, stunting, I am not the best at, but uh, this thing's got a few more tricks up its sleeve. Well, I guess technically one more. It does have a weapon on the front as well. Now, I don't know if I should go. Yeah, let's go first person here and uh, see if we can take out something. I know there's the uh, statues over here. The first person's really rocky, though, as you can see, so it's really hard to judge. Holy shit! Where you are, obviously, I was a little close to the ground there. I think we're still... No, we're not okay. My wing... There's something wrong with my wing here, guys. Let me actually go out to the other view. Oh, yeah, there's there's a fucking hole in it. That's the problem. What the hell do I... <laughs> I have a roof in my wing. There's a there's a peasant roof there, and it's totally fucking me up. All right, we're going down. There we go. Oh, it took out my wing, but I finally was able to kind of shoot something. That is a very hard plane to aim up. It's great at maneuverability, but it's still kind of fidgety in the air almost. So definitely harder than it seems to actually uh, take something down. Now, it does also have a landing gear. I don't know why he decided to make it start in the air, but uh, it's all good. Uh, we'll try and land this thing as well, just to see if we can do it. Uh, doubt it's going to go well. Okay, this looks like a nice long stretch of ground, so I'm going to cut my engines, put out my landing gear. Oh, I guess we got to go up a little bit. Better be safe than sorry, and oh, this is going to go well, guys. This is going to go. Might I actually land? What the Fuck landing gear! Okay, that was not me. That was a shitty landing gear, man. That thing- Okay, now it pops up. I don't know if you saw that, but the but the wheels finally popped up at the end. Regardless, I think the only thing we broke was the front landing wheel. I mean, there's a few parts here. Let's be fair here. But yes, that's the landing gear. Uh, we got part of my wing here. Regardless, I mean, we're still intact. We definitely would have survived that, so a successful landing to me. Okay, but let's move on, because my flight skills are clearly lacking. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 
Okay, this next design is a pretty interesting one. This is a self-driving car. It's basically AI, so if you want someone to fight with and you don't have a friend, this guy does that for you. He'll drive around randomly, he'll back up, he'll randomly shoot, and uh, there we go, he's actually shooting right now, look at that. And yeah, it's just a good little creation if you want to have a battle with a totally random car. So yeah, let's actually speed it up, because I did slow it down. I, didn't, I just wanted to show some of the gear work here, because it's seriously impressive. Like, look at the bottom. This is all made to make this car do random movements. Now we're going to speed it up so you can actually see what he does. Uh, he just generally drives around, sometimes going backwards, sometimes going forwards. I don't actually know if he has, like, hit detection, because you're supposed to play it on Baron Expanse. So he's kind of just driving around now, speeding up, slowing down. And I'm not pressing any buttons right now. This is all done by the actual creation itself. So a pretty neat little design. I'm actually going to load up a different creation here and uh, maybe try a little battle or something. Okay, we got him driving over there, and I am actually in Bigfoot, so I don't have any guns or anything. You can see him randomly shooting around, because I feel like, obviously, if I had guns, I would just kick this thing's ass. It isn't totally advanced AI. It's not aiming for me or anything. It's actually just kind of driving around. So I think this is going to be kind of an easy competition. Still, regardless, I love anything AI, so I'm excited to see what the future holds. Let's see if we can hit him here. Holy shit, he's way stronger than me. Uh, okay, so he is quite reinforced. What the hell is that? Did he just... Did he pop something out or did I break something on his, cre on his creation? Oh god, I don't want to get to the front. Do not want to get to the front. Okay, let's just keep to the sides of him. That's really all you can do, but he does have sporadic movements, so... Uh, we're gonna hit him from the back here. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I can't really do much to him because he's obviously way more reinforced than me. Can you help a buddy up? Uh-oh. Uh, you know, well, you lost a piece. I, I, at least I got that far. He is, you know, he's definitely kind of broken. You can see things have fallen off of him, but he's still working. Let's see if he can actually hit the monster truck. I don't know what the hell he's doing to himself, but he's <laughs> he's not doing too well. Let me let me go check this out. His whole side is just totally ripped off. It's actually I I, I kind of wish the frame wasn't on it because I would like to see the cog work actually working. Now, as you can see, okay, it clearly definitely needs a little bit of work. Oh God, what is this thing? I have no idea, but I just went flying out of that car. Oh shit! I think I just broke my suspension. I kind of got the hang of. How to get this thing up, but it's looking like, oh shit, yeah, it's just got two bigger wheels. Now, where the hell, let's just follow the trail of parts to find, <laughs> what the hell, the AI car, if you could even call it that anymore. <laughs> Look at this thing. What did you do to yourself? You are not the best AI, let's be honest here. All right, well, I think I'm going to call this one a tie. This thing's still remarkably working. It's got some fans on it, and I'm assuming that's what's making it go so right now, but look at it, like it got <laughs> up on its feet. I don't know if it's made to do that or if it's just randomly doing that. I have no idea. Regardless, a really impressive car here. All right, let's try this. We got two of these guys and I'm just, I just want to see if they're actually on a pattern. It looks like they actually are, so you can't really say it's real AI when it looks like, yeah, they're basically on the same movement scheme here. This one seems a bit slower though. It's kind of weird. Okay, he's definitely doing something different now. Something that has to do with these cogs makes this totally randomized. Like, the starting, it seems to go the same, and then they actually start doing totally different things, as you can see. Now, I was hoping these guys would fight, but it looks like they're actually going to spread out more or less. Maybe this guy will shoot off, though. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> so close he almost drove right into it but yeah i think it's gonna take forever guys to get these things to actually attack each other so we're gonna move on from here obviously automation very cool uh randomized automation even more fun but i definitely wouldn't call this ai it's just random movements essentially Oh, hey, this isn't a meme that's overused and outdated at all. We got the Wrecking Ball here, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, I just wanted to download this because we haven't seen a Wrecking Ball in Besiege yet, and I kind of want to hit a castle with it, so let's go to a castle, shall we? All right, here we are. Let's see if this thing works. Uh, I just got to swing it the right way. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to kill you, but uh, if you get in the way... That's just gonna happen to you. Oh shit, we might not be able to do this. I thought this would do way more damage, but I just bounced off that thing. This wrecking ball, clearly a fucking lie. Did you see that? That was the perfect hit. All right, let's get a little bit closer here. Maybe that will help. I don't know. All right, going in. This is gonna be good. <laughs> come on. I just, I just want to see me come in like a wrecking ball. There we go. We're breaking it now. Oh yeah, I'm starting to get some major air here, guys. This is going good. Oh. <laughs> 
just fucking took out that guy. Come on! Just break it already! Oh my god, okay, I don't think this is gonna work, but I do have an idea. All right, this is more like it, ladies and gentlemen. If only the actual Miley Cyrus did this. Here we go, coming in with a bomb! <laughs> Okay, well, that's how you do it, I guess. <laughs> and for the record, I love Miley Cyrus. I was just kidding. Swiggity swooty, I'm coming for that booty. Oh my god, this is just such an amazing looking design. Probably my favorite looking design I've seen in Besiege. Obviously, this is a walker, uh, one without legs. Well, I mean, he's kind of got a little bit of legs left. But yes, uh, all he does is walk around. It just looks so fucking badass, though. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat these houses, there we go! That's right, bitches! Ruined your whole village, see you later! Now all he does is walk around, you can also, I believe, move his mouth, so yes, you can uh, close his amazing mouth. But he is a zombie, that's kind of the point. They aren't really supposed to do much. Let me see if I can do a major jump here. Oh, I just lost a piece of me. Uh, nope, not fast enough to do a jump. <laughs> it can sure demolish some buildings. Hey peasants, how you guys doing? I haven't been over here in a while. That's where I run away, bitch. Oh my god, there's just blood everywhere. Well, a wrecking ball can't demolish this castle, so can a walking zombie. Let's find out. Okay, he broke the door. I'm actually impressed. Like, he's seriously fast, and he kind of just, like, punches things in front of him. I might be able to take this thing out if I don't break my arms off. Oh, I, I did lose one already. Speak of the devil. Okay, let's try and get some more speed here. I, I, I feel like speed is my advantage. I only got one arm that's actually gripping the ground now. Oh, and I'm having a hard time turning with it. But we're still doing good here, so I'm coming back. Uh, it's definitely harder to control now, though. But if we get a good hit in the middle, this is not the middle. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go back again. No big deal. All right, zombie. Keep that speed, bro. Keep that speed. We need that speed. And uh, I think we'll do just fine here. We did take out, like, all of the guys. Oh my god, we're so close. We're, we're gonna be able to break through this with half a fucking zombie. To be fair, though, this is a pretty beastly half zombie. So here we go. Come on! Get that fucking thing. We'll break it down. Not the easiest day for castle killing, man. There we go! <laughs> That's all I wanted, little zombie, and you did it for me. So thank you. All right, well, that was the walking zombie. It's called a walking zombie. I'm gonna say it's the crawling zombie, though. Uh, absolutely amazing design here. It just looks so pleasing to the eyes. All right, this next design is called Dungeon Boulder Season 1, Episode 1, and it's kind of like a Rube Goldberg machine mixed with a puzzle game. So yeah, there's actually already three of these things, Season 1, Episode 2, and Episode 3, and there's, I guess there's kind of a storyline here. We're currently at level start, and each button I press has a certain name to it. So this is called level start, we're gonna do that first. There we go, and this is gonna go over into the Piston of Carnage. All right, there we go. Now the Piston of Carnage, there we go. What's the next one? The Infernal Mill. All right, so we gotta drop it down into here. Now, I don't know really where I'm supposed to go from here. <laughs> and we're not even close to being halfway through now. I think, I, yeah, I can use these sides to push it to kind of uh, aid it in getting to where it needs to go. I'm assuming inside that hole right there. By the way, that one was called the Forgotten Tourniquet. Okay, this next one, uh, we drop down into whatever this is now. I'm thinking, yes, I do see fire, so I think we gotta wait for the fire for us to be dropped. Yep, there it is! We're gonna burn down, and wow, this actually works remarkably well. Usually things like this break when it's this complex, but uh, there we go, dropping down to, uh, what's this next one called? This one's called the Tormented Hall, so, oh, oh, come on, oh god, I don't want to break it. You definitely have to do it at the right time, but yes, Tormented Hall uh, into, what is next? The Ascension of Evil. All right, it looks like we got some sort of elevator system here. Now, I don't want to break this, so I'm going to go nice and slow. There we go. Uh, I guess we're going to... Oh, we have a long ways to go up. All right, we've almost reached the top. Now, how am I supposed to... Is this thing supposed to knock over? I'm thinking uh, with these little pillars here, it's supposed to knock itself over like so. Oh, it just popped it up. Come on, get up there. Oh, shit. No, what the fuck? Okay, let's try this again. Obviously, I need to get on this lift, but I feel like this is not made... Yeah, it's meant to do this, I think. Let's just keep it right here for a second and try and hit the next button. No, that lifts it up, so I need to get it somehow... What the fuck? What are you... Oh, oh, there we go! Okay, <laughs> I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to work. The next one's called the Slipping Madness. We're already almost all the way through it. And on to per the Perpetual Motion of Slaughter. 
Okay, I'm a little worried about this, but uh, do I do anything here? All right, let's just try and do something. Oh, I was supposed to grab the ball. The ball didn't grab itself. Oh, God damn it. Now I can't even reset it. I gotta go through this again. I didn't know how to work it. Okay, here we go again. Let's get some more speed this time. I feel like I didn't have enough speed before. and Maybe that's why. Uh, come on. It's supposed to grab me, isn't it? All right, maybe I should just wait here for a second. Oh, I didn't wait for the freaking thing to heat up and actually fall on it like that. Okay, now we're at the perpetual motion of slaughter. At least I'm assuming we are. So here we go. Oh, yes. Okay, what, what the hell did that do? Okay, I'm pretty sure that dropped down this flaming cannonball. I'm not too certain, though. Let's try the final one, the ultimate judgment. All right, I don't know... What? What? Why? What? I don't get it! Okay, so that cannon was already down there. It actually was used to bring this thing down and attach to the ball, as you can see right now. Now, the perpetual motion of doom, you do this. I just want to see if something else happens. So, that happened, and yeah, we're at the same fucking spot as before. The only thing that happened last time was the ball actually broke. I'm assuming the ball isn't supposed to break, and this knife's supposed to do something over here. So let's find out the ultimate judgment once again. There we go. That's how it's supposed to work, and it's looking like... It just pretty much explodes everything. It makes everything go on fire. So that's more of a better ending. It's slowly deteriorating, as you can see. Actually, very visually pleasing. I, I, I do like the look of this. So yeah, that was Dungeon Boulder. If you guys want to see more of these ones, let me know in the comments below. There's two more actually currently made, and there's more being made in the future, I think. Pretty interesting little design. I do like, you know, a Rube Goldberg machine with puzzle aspects. Look at all these pieces falling down. Holy shit. Anyways, guys, this is going to wrap it up for this episode of the Best Besieged Creations. I hope you enjoyed another jam-packed week filled with some very awesome creations. Uh, links, as always, will be in the description of this video if you do want to download any of them for yourself. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.